In a monotonous world of slim performance and gaming laptops, Lenovo took a different direction with the world's first foldable computer in a compact form factor, the ThinkPad X1 Fold, a laptop with a foldable 13.3-inch OLED touchscreen. After four months using the X1 Fold, is it still worth the high price tag for pioneering technology? Let's find out. On the outside, the X1 Fold looks like a thick black leather bound notebook, slightly larger than A5 size at over 9 inches by 6 inches and 1 inch thick. It weighs in at 1 kilogram or 2.2 pounds. For those old enough to remember, imagine an oversized Filofax. The magic is when you open the book gingerly at first. It takes the brain a few seconds to sink in that you can bend the screen like this to reveal a 13.3 inch tablet display. Thankfully, with it being a ThinkPad, the X1 Fold is military-grade certified for durability. The folding screen design lends to different laptop modes available. With the screen fully open, you can catch up on the morning news or your work document before starting the day. Bend the display slightly like reading a book and you can view two pages side by side. Turn it around and you have a 7-inch netbook with a choice of a virtual touch keyboard displayed on the bottom half of the screen or use the magnetically attached Bluetooth keyboard depending on your situation. Perfect if you're in a tight space like on an airplane or train. A lover mode is to prop up the full 13.3 inch OLED display with the built-in kickstand on the desk. Use the stylus pen, Bluetooth keyboard or your fingers. Disassembly of the X1 Fold is not for the faint-hearted. We won't cover it here but there's plenty of good videos in the YouTube universe. Let's just say there are lots of adhesive strips that hold the leather and plastic covers, along with plenty of screws and connectors to circumvent. Once in, you can replace the SSD and Wi-Fi card along with the battery. Memory is soldered on. We thought the maintenance hatch behind the kickstand would be for a memory or SSD upgrade, but it only reveals a few internal connections. The 13.3 inch 4x3 ratio touch enabled panel with a 2K resolution is a joy to use. Colours are vibrant and sharp with true blacks thanks to the OLED technology and the 95% DCI P3 rating. The plastic folding screen is a fingerprint magnet, so thankfully all is forgiven with a gorgeous display. Brightness is rated at 300 nits, which is fine for indoor usage and in the shade if you have to use it outside. Beware the plastic surface is highly reflective when using it with office lighting or by a window. When fully open, the middle seam is not noticeable. Of course, if you scroll your finger through the centre, you will feel the curvature of the bend, but it's not distracting to be a problem. The bezels are quite thick in the world of bezel-less laptops and iPads, but let's remember this is a first-gen X1 Fold. Something you have to get used to is the touchscreen sensitivity. You have to give it a firm press with your finger or stylus to interact with the touchscreen. There are two physical USB-C 3.2 Gen 2 ports, 10 gigabits per second. One can be used as display port. Both ports can be used for charging. An optional nano SIM slot is available with WAN Cat20 covering 5G, 4G, LTE bands. A power button is present on the side along with a volume rocker switch. Wireless connectivity is taken care of with a Wi-Fi 6 802.11ax and Bluetooth 5.1 card. Wi-Fi 6 connectivity was excellent during testing along with a very reliable Bluetooth connection to the included keyboard. The Pen Pro sits in the fabric loop on the left side of the keyboard. The stylus has a built-in battery and a USB Type-C charging port. Battery life is around 2.5 hours with constant use, while charging takes around 2 hours. The Pen Pro has three functional buttons that can be easily customised with the Lenovo Pen Settings app. For example, the top pen button allows you to open an app like OneNote or Microsoft Whiteboard for sketching your ideas. Similarly, with the top and bottom barrel buttons, you can customise these buttons to action features like arrays or show available keystrokes. The stylus has 4096 levels of pressure for precise control and can sense the tilt of the pen for more accurate shading when doing graphics work. It also detects and ignores your hand when you rest it on the screen while drawing or writing. In practice, the pen pros are joy to hold and use for long hours, ideal for office note taking or for a digital artist. The Bluetooth Fold Mini keyboard fits perfectly inside the gap between the two halves of the display when the ThinkPad X1 Fold is folded in half to transport around. There's also magnets on the display bezel to ensure it doesn't move when typing on it, or even though it's only 2mm thick, the keys provide excellent tactile feedback when typing, plus the strong metal 
backplate ensures the keyboard has no flex whatsoever. Lenovo managed to accommodate a tiny f- trackpad with click buttons, but for the diehards there's no room for the signature Lenovo track point on this compact keyboard. On the right side, there is a micro USB connector for charging and an on-off switch to save on battery. On the left is the fabric loop to park the pen. Due to its narrow dimensions, the keyboard is not ideal to type on. There are many double or triple key assignments which is annoying and the microscopic trackpad is just not usable for long periods. The two speakers get really loud without distortion, useful for Zoom or Teams calls. Due to the location of the speakers, when you use the kickstand, one speaker is slightly blocked, but in reality the sound is still clear. The overall audio quality is not bad, great for showing off a presentation to a small team or catch up TV streaming after hours, especially partnered up with the OLED display. There's no headphone jack to plug in, so the only way to connect headphones is via Bluetooth. The 720p web camera is not going to win any awards anytime soon, but it's fine for working from home or taking a Zoom call in office. Our test model has an IR sensor, but Windows 10 didn't detect it as such to work with Windows Hello authentication. There's no security privacy shutter on the X1 Fold. The X1 Fold is equipped with a custom Intel i5L 16G7 Lakefield processor running at a base clock of 1.4 GHz, with a turbo boost up to 3 GHz on the faster Sunny Cove core. This hybrid chip consists of four slow and efficient cores, and one fast core similar to the one found on the Samsung Galaxy Book S. Using all five cores, the CPU can reach up to 1.8 GHz. TDP is limited by Lenovo to 9.5 watts and sustained 8 watts. Ensure you get the maximum performance by plugging the X1 on the mains, otherwise there's an 11% performance drop on battery only. This test model has 8GB of DDR4 memory and a 256GB PCIe SSD. Performance is strictly for simple applications only, like the Office Suite programs and internet browsing. This is clearly shown by the poor benchmark scores. PC Mark 10 benchmark has a score of 2368. 3D Mark benchmark overall score is 426, with graphics score 379 and CPU score 1511. Cinebench R23 CPU multi core scored 1568 and a single core of 643. Geekbench 4 CPU Benchmark Single Core scored 3,379 and 6,833 on multi-core. Geekbench 4 Compute Benchmark scored 20,024. Finally, Superposition just managed to cross the finishing line with 589 points. When the i5 chip is stressed, the single fan inside is barely noticeable. The fan stays virtually silent, great for quiet environments. Heat generation is also kept to a minimum with a slight temperature rise on the left when taxed. Within minutes, the X1 Fold cools down thanks to the fan and cooling inside. In general, heat is not an issue on the X1 Fold. The Intel UHD Graphics G7 Lakefield GT2 with 64 EUs is the integrated graphics unit used in the X1 Fold. Don't expect to play any major AAA titles anytime soon with the X1. The GPU is comparable with the old Intel HD Graphics 630, so low demanding titles like LOL, Roblox and Among Us will play. The 50 watt hour battery is good for around 5 hours plus on the better battery setting and 70% brightness. In best performance and max brightness expect up to 4 hours battery life. The 65 watt slim power adapter has rapid charging that charges to 30% in 30 minutes or 90 minutes to fully charge the battery. The X1 Fold is lacking in the security category. There is no privacy webcam shutter or fingerprint sensor on the detachable keyboard. A discrete trusted platform module 2.0 2.0 chip is present, however there is no software security tools to speak of. The good, the bad and the really bad. Fascinating concept. You can't help but marvel at the innovation with the Lenovo ThinkPad X1 Fold, offering multiple positions to work with depending on your needs at the time. It's a totally unique design that will be the benchmark for future foldable laptops and tablets. Vibrant screen. The OLED 13.3 inch display with a useful 4x3 aspect ratio is gorgeous to stare at for hours. Rich colours and sharp text throughout. The only niggle would be brightness levels that could be higher at 400 nits and the display could be more responsive to touch. Durable hinge. For a first gen foldable device, Lenovo engineers have done wonders with the sturdy hinge mechanism to open and close to the bendable screen. After four months of daily usage, it has reliably opened and closed just like a traditional laptop screen. Frugal input devices. The X1 Fold could do with more than the two USB-C ports, especially if you're using one for charging. 
The second gen model needs Thunderbolt 4 and maybe a third USB-C port to make it more practical. Tight keyboard. The keyboard is too small to be used for any length of time. Due to the compact dimensions, you end up using function key and shift to access certain keys like the hash or at symbol. The trackpad is way too small to glide on, especially if you have larger fingers. Plus the keyboard uses a micro USB port for charging. Really? Poor performance. The Intel i5-L16G7 SoC is sufficient for simple tasks like using Office Suite apps and a spot of note taking, but anything else it struggles. The maximum 8GB of onboard memory limits the X1 Fold to lightweight users only, which in a way defeats the purpose of this device. Also noticeable when you're switching between different screen modes where it pauses when it should be a smooth experience. Weak battery life. For portable device and 5G SIM option, the X1 Fold could do with better battery life to meet these expectations. Annoying that you have to charge the X1 in the middle of the workday and before you finish. Top dollar. For the price of innovation and first in the market, you have to pay a pretty penny for the X1 Fold, starting from $2,300 or $3,200 before taxes, strictly for must-have early adopters with deep pockets. Software sucks. Originally the plan was to run Windows 10X, designed specifically for devices like the X1 Fold, but that was scrapped in favour of vanilla Windows 10 Pro with tweaks from Lenovo. One feature is the mode switcher that triggers automatically when you fold the device, showing you the full display or split into two screens. Add the keyboard onto the bottom half of the screen and the display adjusts with the top half showing the Windows 10 desktop. However, when you detach the keyboard, sometimes the display doesn't adjust back to full display. Frustration quickly sets in when you notice Windows 10 was not designed to be used with touchscreens and even less with foldable devices. The Lenovo ThinkPad X1 Fold Gen 1 is a tale of two halves, or should I say one third good, two thirds bad. When you unfold it for the first time, you can't help but say, wow, the delightful potential of being able to use it as a tablet, laptop, netbook, and then closing it like a book has to be applauded. The hinge mechanism is solid and works a charm helped by the beautiful OLED 13.3 inch bendable display. However, this is where the good news stops. The touchscreen is not responsive, whether with the pen or your fingers, and the performance is less than ideal, especially if you're a heavy user. The battery life falls short of what it should be for a portable device, and the mini keyboard is infuriating to use. Hopefully at the time of this review, Windows 11 is around the corner, and fingers crossed it could do a better job than Windows 10 with the X1 Fold. Lenovo have done a fantastic job with creating the ThinkPad X1 Fold, setting a new benchmark for this unique form factor. It is exciting proof that foldable laptops are coming, like the forthcoming Samsung Galaxy Book Fold 17, and what Microsoft may have under their sleeves with the foldable Surface Pro. Can't wait to see what the Gen 2 X1 Fold has to offer. What do you guys think? Leave your comments and discuss below. Hope you guys enjoyed the review of the Lenovo ThinkPad X1 Fold laptop. Please click on the like button if you enjoyed this review video and subscribe if you would like to watch more of our tech videos. Thanks for watching. Cheers.